Hey everybody, it's DG Tronic and I'm back with another awesome Mac app review video for all of you guys Mac users out there. The program that I want to review today is actually called Easy Draw. It's a vector drawing program. Even the company says, keep in mind, it's not for professionals, so it's not a professional grade program. It's for regular folks and semi-professionals who actually enjoy drawing and it's not in any way shape or form meant to replace Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator but rather it is meant to be used side by side with these programs to complement them. You can find it at the Mac App Store for the low price of $25. Guys you can't beat $25 for such a program like EasyDraw. You'll see how awesome and cool it is in a minute. Before I go any further, when I use graphic uh, creation programs like this, if I'm on a laptop, I'd rather use it with an external mouse than the trackpad or the mouse pad. It's just easier for me. So if you're using this on a laptop, you might want to try it with an external mouse. Check the program out with more details and I think a free demo version to be downloaded at their website, www easydraw.com it's www.eazydraw.com it's a kick-ass fun to use feature rich program this is what you get when you open it up make sure you drag it out all the way so you get the full menu bar on top otherwise you'd be missing some features features and you'd be going like huh what happened Okay, first thing I do when I open up a graphics program is I go to the layers because I want to work in layers in case I screw up on something. I want to be able to just get rid of that one single layer and not delete hours worth of work on a whole project. Okay, well let's quickly take a look at what this program has to offer. On the very left side you see all the quick, uh, all the cool and main tools you need to use for this program. All the drawing shapes, the lines, curves, the text, all that stuff. And on top is the main menu bar. We'll go over that right now. That gives you the text box. You have the text color. You have annotations. And by the way, that reminds me, this program is also awesome for technical drawings and technical designs. We'll get to that in about a minute. You have stroke color options. If you do shapes in this program, which I can guarantee you, you will be doing shapes if you have a program like this that you're using. Let's make it red. And let's make the fill color, say, um, green. There you go, that's really quick. You have gradient options. You have pattern options. This is the technical side of the program. You can do charts, all sorts. You can do shapes again. You can do curves and bezies and, and graphs. You can do more technical things, which is really cool. This is the layers pane. This gives you the details pane, which is basically details about whatever you have selected. In this case, we've selected a circle, so it's giving us details about the circle. And on the very right, and I'm skipping this for a reason, on the very right, you see customize. Gives you the option to add certain features to the top menu bar that may not be there. And that's how I've added the rotate tool to the top menu bar. It's also on the left pane right there. But I dragged and dropped it here to the top menu bar for easier access. One very cool feature that I think the program offers for people who want to use it for technical drawings and technical designs is rulers. You check this box off. 
it gives you rulers and you have the option of inches feet yards rods miles kilometers meters centimeters millimeters microns nanometers mils points picas cayuse for measurements and there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do here which I'm not going to get into because this is not a tutorial program again this is just a basic overview of easy draw and what it has to offer to you guys I'm going to really quickly um, do a project for you guys so you can see how easy it is to use let's get rid of the old one and don't save again drag this out all the way as soon as I open these type of programs I go to the layers pane and in this case I want to add four layers and I want to see all the layers at the same time even though I may be working on layer 2 I also want to see what I've done on layer 1 so it can match it easily so show all and Let's start with active layer one. I'm not gonna describe it to you step by step. Again, this is not a tutorial video, just an overview of what the program can do. We get the idea of what this is, it's not too perfect, but that's okay. We'll go to active layer 2. Okay, well, there you have it. I quickly made a logo slash identity for 
a green energy company. I mean, it's not perfect. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, not really perfect. But just a quick way of showing you what the program is capable of. Again, for such a low price of $25, you really cannot beat such a feature-rich application. And also, before I actually uh, close out this video, you have a lot of options for exporting and importing. Let's say, inserting your own logo, if you have a logo already made. Insert the logo. There's my logo right there. Of course, I don't want it here. You can insert PNG, JPEG, a whole bunch of uh, different file systems. And also you can export to a lot of different formats right there. One of the best ones is PNG because it gives the transparency option. And yeah, well, that's it. The program again, it's called Easy Draw, $25 at the Mac App Store and check out the company's website at www.easydraw.com that's e a z y d r a w.com thank you for watching this episode of dgtronic subscribe to my youtube channel on youtube.com/dgtronic <laughs>